Hello, my name is Richard McCulloch and what I want to do for the next five minutes is introduce you to the work that we do in our lab, all of which is available for you to pursue as a PhD if any of it takes your interest. Here we go, let me show you some work. We are based in the Sir Graham Davis building as part of the Welcome Centre for Integrative Parasitology and we study two single cell parasites, trypanosomes or trypanosoma brucei and leishmania. These are of interest, of course, because they're parasites and they cause disease, but also because they're very diverse uh, uh, eukaryotic microbes. Very different, for instance, from the model organisms you might be useful, used to, such as mice, yeast, drosophila and C. elegans. Decades of study have shown that the core cell biology processes of trypanosomes and leishmania are very different from the model organisms that I just described. For instance, their mitochondria, their gene expression processes, their metabolism is very, very different. In the course of studying these processes, loads of genetic tools have been developed uh, for these organisms, such as CRISPR and RNAi, meaning that we can do most of the things that you would find in standard uh, model organisms. The broad area of study in our lab is how the genome of these organisms is maintained and transmitted. There's a common perception in biology that a cell's genome is a static information store. In fact, that's not true. Genomes are constantly being rearranged and mutated, often for very specific purposes. And we're interested in understanding how these processes operate in trypanosomes and leishmania. So in the next few slides, I'll show you some projects that we're doing and the people that are actually pursuing those projects. One long-standing interest in the lab is how African trypanosomes survive in their mammalian hosts, such as us, by antigenic variation. And we know quite a lot about this mechanism. But in the last three or four years, we've begun to realise that our understanding of this process is not complete. So how does it actually work during really long-term infections? Trypanosomes undergo forms of differentiation. Uh, how does it work in there? They, they don't just live in the blood, they live outside the blood. How does that influence it? And most importantly, what we've looked at in one species, Trypanosome brucei, how does that fit with other species of trypanosomes? And Maria and Jane are working hard to try and answer some of these questions. It's long been known that antigenic variation in trypanosomes works by recombination amongst the genes that are involved. But a key question that's emerged very recently is how exactly do you start that recombination reaction? And our lab has proposed that an unusual nucleic acid structure, which is a hybrid between an RNA and a DNA molecule, is a key intermediate in that reaction. But in fact, in studying that, we've realised that these things called R loops do far, far more reactions in the cells than we realised. Um, and Emma and Mark and, and Jezeel are all trying to understand exactly how R loops work in African in trypanosomes and in leishmania. Damage to all genomes has to be repaired. And an unexplored aspect of this in trypanosomes and leishmania is how that reaction is signalled. And Jenny and Gabrielle are working in trypanosomes and, and leishmania to try and understand the roles played by protein kinases that seem to operate at the very top of these signalling pathways. And one advantage of this is that there's lots of uh, compounds available that inhibit these, these kinases, so they could potentially be good drug targets. To be transmitted, every organism has to replicate its genome. And until recently, virtually nothing was known about DNA replication in African trypanosomes and leishmania. And what we've been doing for the last few years, through, through work by Caterina Marquez, Jose, Jose Zé Bautista and Jesse Aldemasano, is trying to understand both the machinery and the dynamics of this reaction. And what that work's shown us is that the rules that have, that have applied to model eukaryotes really don't seem to apply to trypanosomes and leishmania. Recently, Emma Briggs was awarded a Wellcome Trust Fellowship um, to use single cell transcriptomics to try and understand uh, trypanosome life cycle development. Emma has chosen to spend some of her time uh, in the Wellcome Centre for Inter Integrative Parasitology. And alongside her, Felix, Ross and Kat are using the same approaches to try and ask about leishmania life cycle development and also to use single cell technology to look at genome biology in these organisms. I hope this short talk has, has given you some food for thought about the kind of biology that we're doing and maybe there's some biology in there that's of interest to you. If there is, please feel free to get in touch. You can contact me by email or through Twitter and you can chat to anyone in the lab at all. And this GD fellow here, Craig, will help any introductions to the lab should you choose to come and, come and join us. Thank you very much.